Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new Jurassic World video where today it's very exciting as we have another person confirming more future movies for the Jurassic franchise after Jurassic World Dominion. So if you're excited for today's news video be sure to press that like button as today's like goal is a total of 2500 likes. A little bit of a push but I do believe that we can do it. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel should you want any more news or content regarding the Jurassic franchise, as this is definitely the best place to be. But for today's video, as you can tell by the title, Colin Trevorrow, the director of Jurassic World Dominion, has confirmed that there's more to come for the Jurassic franchise. So just to clarify what we know so far is that back in May of 2020, it was reported that Universal executives are discussing a potential of brand new movies coming after Jurassic World Dominion. Not only that, but following pretty much the exact same week within May of 2020, the executive producer of Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Dominion did confirm in May of 2020 that there is more to come for the Jurassic franchise after Jurassic World Dominion. Not only that, but he later reconfirmed these reports back in January, late January of 2022, saying that Jurassic World Dominion is not the end and it's a start of a brand new era. Then this was followed up by last week's report that the president of Universal Pictures did confirm that something big is happening next year and that there is more to expect from this franchise moving forward. And now, yesterday, the director of Jurassic World Dominion, Colin Trevorrow, confirmed that yes, there is more to come after Jurassic World Dominion. But he also states some much more interesting information from this brand new exclusive article from Empire Magazine. What we're going to do in the meantime is essentially read out this article and uh, try to understand where the future of Jurassic can go. But quickly, if you want a quick lowdown on what happened with this confirmation back in January, check out this video that I uploaded to my TikTok a few months back. Did you know that Jurassic World Dominion is not the last movie in the franchise? Many people actually think this is the last movie because the trailer states that this is an epic conclusion of the Jurassic era. However, the producer Frank Marshall has confirmed in March of 2020 and January of 2022 that they're currently planning a new movie for the franchise and that Jurassic World Dominion is a new era, a start of something new. This means there will be more movies after Dominion, but possibly without the Jurassic in the title, but still they will take place on the same timeline. So the title of this article is that Colin Trevorrow wanted to create a path for future Jurassic movies with Jurassic World Dominion. He says that there's more to come. Not for the first time, the blockbuster Jurassic franchise seems to have come to an end. This summer saw the release of Jurassic World Dominion, the third and final entry in the world trilogy overseen by Colin Trevorrow who returned to the director's chair with the entry that united Chris Pratt's Owen Grady and Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire Deering with the trio of characters from the original Jurassic Park movie, Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler and Ian Malcolm. But if Jurassic has taught us anything, it's that extinction can be temporary. So while the Dino Saga is going dormant for now, Colin Trevorrow was keen for Dominion to plant seeds for the future. And as we know, Jurassic World Dominion was the end of a saga for Jurassic, a whole story from Jurassic Park in 1993 to Jurassic World Dominion in 2022. And this is very similar to how the Infinity Saga for Marvel ended with Avengers Endgame, and how the Skywalker Saga for Star Wars ended with the rise of Skywalker. Essentially, the Jurassic Saga ended with Jurassic World Dominion, Next up, the Jurassic franchise will continue just like Marvel and Star Wars are doing, but this time it will be a whole new story and a whole new set of examples that we can now use for the future of this movie. And it seems like within Jurassic World Dominion, the director really wanted to plant some seeds there for the future, some of which we did point out in previous videos of mine. Speaking to Empire Magazine in Malta for a major new interview, marking the end of his decade working on Jurassic movies, Trevorrow spoke about how the evolution of the series in Dominion was no coincidence. I specifically did something different than the other films in order to change the DNA of this franchise, a move taken to provide fresh opportunities down the line. The previous five films are plots about dinosaurs. This one is a story about the characters in a world in which they coexist with dinosaurs. 
for the franchise to be able to move forward because it's inherently unfranchisable, there should probably should have been only one Jurassic Park. But if we're going to do it, how can I allow them to tell stories in a world in which dinosaurs exist, as opposed to, here's another reason why we're going to an island. And to be honest, I partially agree with him. If the Lost World Jurassic Park ended up being exactly like Michael Crichton's novel, then yeah, maybe Jurassic should have really ended on the second movie. However, bringing in and creating a trilogy in its time back in 2001 was a great step forward for this franchise from Universal. Not only that, but reviving the whole franchise together back in 2015, essentially in 2013 and 2014, Universal started to realise that they can make more money out of this franchise, and not only that, bring back a really popular IP in Jurassic, and I'm sure that loads of people absolutely adored Jurassic World. Whilst not so many adored Fallen Kingdom, Jurassic World Dominion was also adored by the majority of people who watched it as well, so it's safe to say that this franchise is currently doing very well, especially with the success of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous as well. Nonetheless, I'm really excited we're going to be getting some more. Trevorrow confirms that he had conversations with Universal about where the franchise could potentially go next, and Dominion's fresh crop of faces hold plenty of storytelling opportunities. This movie clearly takes a real interest in creating new characters that a new generation is going to latch onto, Kayla Watts and Mamadou Ashi's character Ramsey Cole, who I think, in the extended edition, you really feel his purpose in a greater way, and Daishin Lockman's character Sayuna Santos, who just gets arrested at the end. However, what we did point out in my previous videos is that it seems like she did in fact get away, so it is quite intriguing and uh, hopefully there's more story to tell with these characters. And then, the four words that mean so much to a lot of Jurassic fans. There's more to come. Yes guys, Colin Trevorrow has confirmed that there is more Jurassic movies and probably a lot more coming after Jurassic World Dominion. So far, we've known for a while that a new movie, at least one of them, is in the works. And not only that, but we are aware that there's a new TV show popping up on Netflix for Jurassic, and currently they have open casting calls for this brand new TV show, so we know more is coming. And then the article went on to explain how the tagline for Jurassic World Dominion, the epic conclusion of the Jurassic era, was actually featured prominently across posters and some people misinterpreted it. And I agree, some people did in fact misinterpret it. Uh, when you talk about era, you don't really talk about the entire franchise. I don't think it's the marketing people who caused this issue, I do think it comes from actors themselves such as Chris Pratt saying it's the overall total conclusion of the franchise, which as we know, simply isn't going to happen. If a new game comes out, that's more to the Jurassic franchise. However, when we talk about eras, we're talking about a story from one set time period to another set time period, therefore it does not mean that we will not see more after this set time period. Which then leads us to believe that the wording of era is the same type of wording for saga. And I think the reason why they use the word era is to be more on brand. Look at the Triassic era, Cretaceous era, Jurassic era, Permian era, you know, you use era when you're talking about prehistoric creatures. And the article goes to say this, Given the multi-billion dollar grosses of the Jurassic World trilogy alone, it seems inevitable that the Jurassic Saga, I think they mean the Jurassic franchise, will eventually return. As Trevorrow sees it, the pieces have been laid in place for another filmmaker to unearth them, Alan Grant style, and he's ready to wait and see who presents a compelling plan for what happens next. What I get fired up about is, if a table has been set here for another mind to do what I did with Steven Spielberg, and sit down and say, listen, I've got an idea, I would love for that person to sit with me or Steven and just be like, I got it. You know what they say, life uh, finds a way. And I completely agree. I am so ready for this new era of Jurassic that will be starting. We already know there's at least one movie and we already know there is at least one TV show confirmed so far. You can find out more information regarding those with other videos on my channel. But the thing is, there is so much story that they can tell here. Like there is a story with Sona Santos, a story with Kayla Watts, a story with Mamadou Ashi's character, Ramsey Cole. And then you also have loads of individual movies that they could do that don't really necessarily add to the main overall plot, but fun individual movies where let's say Carnotauruses are killing cattle and the people on the ranch have to try and find out how to kill this Carnotaurus. 
and basically a short movie like that would be quite fun to watch. I really do hope that they go down the route of creating multiple different sequences and then also have a final overall arc in story. That way we could hopefully see maybe about two movies or a movie a year minimum alongside with a brand new TV show, that would be awesome, but obviously we want quality over quantity. Typically we want both, let's be honest, uh, but hopefully the quality does show through this potential of a saga because I think it's safe to say that we can all agree that Jurassic has so much potential that currently isn't being utilised. So hopefully we do see a way and hopefully life does find a way where Jurassic will keep to its quality and be very, very good for multiple other movies and TV series coming in the future. As for when we can expect an announcement for the next movie, it's intriguing that the president of Universal said that we'll be celebrating Jurassic Park 30 next year in a big way and I assume that at JP30 we could get some sort of an announcement that the new movie will be coming in let's say 2024, 2025. That's something that I'll be very excited for and uh, probably setting my hopes a little bit too high let's be honest. Overall, I am very excited for the future movies, and if you are excited and want to know anything to do with this Jurassic franchise, definitely subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications turned on. But in the meantime, be sure to go down to the comments and pitch me some of your best ideas of what you want to see from the Jurassic franchise after Jurassic World Dominion, and what type of movies and TV series you also want to see as well. Don't forget to also like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new, but in the meantime, get ready because there's more movies coming for Jurassic. Stay safe out there and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.